Sydney's gangland war has again erupted in deadly violence. An underworld boss has been gunned down after leaving a home in Greenacre in Sydney's southwest. Police can't work out whether the assassination is linked to a feud between two rival crime networks or whether it's payback from murder eight years ago. Either way, the killer or killers remain on the run. Here's crime reporter Mark Reddy. A neighbourhood overcome with panic. The flashing lights, a reminder, Sydney's gangland war is far from over. Six, seven, eight are very loud shots. Well, it sounds like shots to me. First of all, it might have been fireworks. Behind the cars, police desperately try to revive underworld boss Mahmoud Ahmad. We used to go to school together when we were younger, but he was, he was OK when he was younger, but I don't know much about him after that. The 39-year-old was visiting an associate at a home in Greenacre when he was struck with a hail of bullets. Watching on in horror were families with young children. This was an incredibly brazen, callous murder, and it's an absolute miracle that no one else got killed or injured. In nearby Strathfield, an orange glow lit up the night sky. It was one of two getaway cars police believe were used by those responsible for the ambush. Full of flames, yeah, yeah. It was uh, even uh, uh, reaching the power lines, and I thought that the power lines would come down, and I was very much concerned about it. Nicknamed Brownie, Mahmoud Ahmad was a brother of Wali Ahmad, who was shot dead in Bankstown Shopping Centre in 2016. It was in retaliation for his role in a violent shootout that killed rival Safwan Shabaji. Brownie got out of prison six months ago and had launched into a feud with the Alamedine crime network. It's no secret Mahmoud Ahmad had more enemies than friends. Police say a million dollar bounty was on his head and despite repeated warnings that his life was in imminent danger, the 39 year old would not listen. He was either going to end up um, on a slab in the morgue or he was going to end up back in, in jail in a cell. And uh, unfortunately for him, um, he's, in, he's in the morgue as we speak. A gangland war that continues to baffle investigators. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney. And Mark Reddy is with me now. Mark, do police believe their strategy is still working? Juanita, there have been at least seven gangland murders in Sydney over the past 18 months. When Salim Hamzi and his father were shot dead in October last year, New South Wales police stepped up their response. They combined 10 existing strike forces into one new one called Strike Force Hawk, made up of 355 police officers. Since then, police have carried out 360 search warrants and firearm prohibition orders. They've seized 700 firearms, $2 million worth of prohibited drugs and $2.5 million in cash. All up, 800 charges have been laid against 251 members and associates of criminal networks in Sydney's southwest. And while originally the focus was on the Alamedines and the Hamseys, detectives now fear the conflict could be much wider. Thanks, Mark.